Consider, for instance, the sign of the interval 0. So, of course, it is not sine of 0 and sine of p. It will be here 0, 1. As we can easily understand if we look at the graph of sine 0, p 0, this part. If I consider now, let's say, my 3 square. It is a square function, square of minus 1. Again, I can show the graph, but we can understand that the minimum is 0 and the maximum will be 9, square of 3. Let me consider another example, the absolute value of the interval minus 7, 1. Again, the minimum will be 0 because the absolute value of 0 is visible and I cannot be negative and the maximum will be 7. Now I consider uh, an example where the domain of the function is restricted, it's not R. Let's uh, consider for instance the square root of minus 10 4. This negative number does not belong to the domain of the square root. So I will not consider them to be consistent with set theory. Here I will obtain 0, 2. And the last example I will consider is the logarithm of an interval, for instance, minus 2 minus 1. This interval do not belong to the domain of this function, so this will be empty. And the smallest interval which enclose empty set is the empty set in itself. So this is an interval. 